skateboard parks can't be put on paper and be successful. They need to grow and evolve as you're building them. And the nice thing about Team Pain was they're all skaters and the construction guys. So this thing has been tested every square inch of it, um, almost to a fault at some point because uh, <laughs> Debbie and I would come out here and at lunch hour, every one of them was skating. So once the bottom of the bowls got poured, um, Productivity on our our, our part of Union, yeah, really slow down. But you have to wait for pours, and they have a system that they do. But uh, so they take off their hard helmets and put on their knee pads. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, uh, Kurt, you said um, design builds the only way because it gives you the flexibility to do, to do what? To have the freedom um, to develop and evolve it as you're as you're constructing it. So, so in other words, the blueprints or the plans are really. An outline a of conceptual, idea. yeah. For example, this this snake run was nothing like this on the plans. It was not nearly as aggressive. Uh, the contours were not uh, as high or uh, as sharp. So this thing really took off for us, and they kept we kept saying, "Will you do this?" And they didn't say why. They didn't they didn't say why not. Um, so they were always challenging it, and we kept pushing them on it. You know, what do, we, what do you think if we built this bank up higher? I said, absolutely. Um, it does challenge all levels. We've got the mini bowl to the snake run to the intermediate bowl to the pro bowl. So if you look from the west to the east, east being harder, west being easier, um, there is a progression. The other nice thing about this park is it has a flow. You can skate the entire park and not stop. Every inch of this park is skatable. Um, we asked them, through our community input meetings to design something that was unique. And we heard from a lot of different skaters, a lot of different community members from all over, not just Lafayette, about what made other parks unique. Um, and we took that and incorporated that in this park. So we have a little bit of every park in here. And then it's kind of like a park on steroids. We enhanced all that to put colored concrete in. It's a piece of art and we wanted to show that. So the color concrete's unique. No one's done colored concrete. No one's used the rock like we've used it. Um, we just piled the rock in the staging area and Team Payne picked through it and decided what they were gonna use. Um, it really came out nice and they really- The rock, uh, is it the granite? Uh, well, it's sandstone, granite, marble. Um, we've got polished granite, we've got raw granite. Um, we've got the state stone and marble. Um, I went to the quarry, picked out, hand-picked all the rocks out. Remnants that have contours to them, I brought them over to Team Paint and they said, absolutely we can make these work. So, it wasn't... So like that white piece over there, is that skatable? That's skatable, everything's skatable here, including our manhole cover. We put a five-foot lift on that and said, make this skatable, and they did. We challenged them on every aspect and Team Paint delivered. Is that a Team Paint didn't say why, they, they just said, why not? You know, and they did a lot of great things out here. Um, James Hendrick was the, the foreman, and uh, these guys are artists. They're artists in skating and in the construction.